So, McKissick wants to know how does the divorce rate for foreign marriages compare to the regular U.S. divorce rate? So, the studies that have been done, and again, the Justice Department did a study, others have done studies, and it normally shows that the divorce rate for intercultural marriages, the marriages that we get involved with, are normally much less than the divorce rate, um, the U.S. divorce rate. Right? U.S. divorce rates hovering depending on who you ask um, and how long that marriage was, right? So when does that actually count? But the divorce rate's hovering right around 50% or so. And for intercultural marriages, it's less. I don't know exactly how much less, but from what I've been told from the different studies that I've seen, it is less. I know many couples that have been married for many, many years that have met through us. I know this is just anecdotal, right? That's just me. But I see it out there and I see these couples staying together. I mean, yes, I hear about divorces, obviously. I'm going to hear that. Unfortunately, it's going to happen. But I also see so many couples that are staying together. We've been doing this now for a long time, 25 years. So we have many couples that have been married for a long time. I mean, take my marriage, for example, uh, 23 years. Well, excuse me, 21 years. We met 23 years ago been married now for over 21 years um, and we met a social just like this in St. Petersburg Russia um, it was amazing it was love at first sight for me and after a few glasses of champagne for Tanya it was love at first sight for Tanya I just think that the divorce rate is less because I think the men and the women are putting a lot more effort into this. I mean, look at what you guys are doing right now. You're on this webcast, watching this, listening to me, trying to get more information. There's probably better things you could be doing than this right now, but this is something that's important to you. So you're spending the time, you're doing your due diligence to try to find that right match for you. And I think that's great. And then the women themselves, they are actually reaching out and they're trying to find a different option, a better option than what they have in their city, in their state, or wherever they live, right? And so they're trying to find a better option for you. So they're putting a lot more effort into finding Mr. Wright. You're putting a lot more effort in finding Mrs. Wright. And by doing that, I think it really does um, show that these marriages tend to last longer. Um, there's just a lot more effort that goes into these. You're just not marrying you know, the woman down at the corner bar. You're really going halfway around the world to find that right person. And I think that speaks volumes to why these marriages tend to last a little bit longer. You say dating a foreign woman is easier or more difficult than doing the same thing with American ladies? That is an amazing question, Fred. I like that. You know, what's really interesting about this, Fred, is that, first of all, think about it this way. When you go into a social event, let's just talk about the social for now, but not even the one-on-one -on -one dating that you're going to be doing, but even at the social, you're in a room with a bunch of women who have told us, at least, that they want to meet someone for a serious relationship in marriage. And the men have told us, at least, that they want to meet someone for a serious relationship in marriage. So when you put a population of men and women together like that, and you stir the pot, amazing things happen. And it makes it so much easier. Check out our website at... If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.